Today, let's create an old money capsule wardrobe in partnership with Goelia. I've had several clients ask me about the old money aesthetic, whether I recommend it for a timeless capsule wardrobe, and where to shop for accessible, high quality items that give off that quiet luxury feel. And I could think of no better brand to partner with on an old money capsule wardrobe than Goelia. They have such a nice variety of pieces for every price point, ranging from simple basics to elevated statement pieces. For my Myself, I love the attention to detail that Goelia brings into so many of their pieces. Now, when it comes to deciding whether or not the old money aesthetic is right for you, it all comes down to personal preference and execution. So many of the items that fit into this aesthetic are classic, timeless pieces. So if this style really resonates with you, I think it's a great option for a capsule wardrobe. Then it's all about choosing the right silhouettes and colors to suit your own body type and personal coloring. Today's capsule is designed for the classic body type with a light spring or a light summer color palette. This means we're leaning into moderate and symmetrical silhouettes and a light neutral color palette. If you're not sure what your color or body type is, I really encourage you to book a color and body typing analysis with me for the price of a haircut. Before we create our capsule wardrobe, let's quickly talk about the four style elements that you'll need to achieve the old money aesthetic in your own wardrobe. Neutral colors. When selecting items for your capsule wardrobe, focus on shades such as beige, camel, navy, gray, and ivory. These colors exude a timeless and sophisticated vibe, perfect for the old money aesthetic. Remember to choose colors that complement your personal coloring as well. If you have warm undertones, opt for warmer neutrals like camel and ivory. For cool undertones, gravitate towards cooler neutrals like gray and navy. And remember that you can create visual interest by mixing and matching a variety of neutrals. Don't be afraid to pair black with brown and gray to create an interesting and unique look. Tailoring. To achieve the old money aesthetic, incorporate tailored items into your wardrobe where possible. This is one of those tips that's definitely going to be dictated by your body type. For instance, if you're a gamine, then boxy Chanel style crop jackets are going to look amazing on you. But if you're flamboyant natural, then those boxy crop jackets are going to be a lot harder to pull off. But a well-fitting long trench coat is going to suit you very well. Look for well-fitted garments that flatter your body type and create a clean silhouette. High quality fabrics. In addition to neutral colors and tailoring, another element that's essential to the old money aesthetic is the use of high quality fabrics. Prioritize fabrics such as cotton, silk, and wool. High quality items made of these fabrics will last in your wardrobe for years to come. And finally, make it your own. While the old money aesthetic provides a solid foundation for your capsule wardrobe, it's important to make it your own and incorporate items that really reflect your personal style, lifestyle, and preferences. You can achieve this by adding an unexpected shoe or handbag or a fun color accent. So now that we know a little more about the old money aesthetic, let's choose our color palette for this capsule wardrobe. I want to go for subtle, blended combinations of mostly neutral colors. To accomplish this, I started with a base of white, cream, and light camel. To provide some contrast, coffee brown and black are great as well. And to give the capsule a little pop of color, let's add light blue, navy, and true red. Okay, now let's put together our old money capsule wardrobe. Starting with true basics, the first thing that any old money capsule wardrobe needs is a pair of trousers and a preppy skirt. These cream trousers, light blue trousers, and black pleated skirt from Goelia will provide the perfect base for any autumn outfit. And for basic tops, we of course need a light camel crew neck or mock neck sweater, a slim turtleneck, and a basic button down shirt. These six items could really form the base of any classic or preppy wardrobe, and they're also great basics for the classic body type. Now that we have our basics, let's move on to the next level, which is essentials. These are the items which encapsulate the old money aesthetic and start to bring some character into this capsule wardrobe. First, we have a blue striped banker shirt. To me, this screams old money because of the super preppy contrasting collar and cuffs. Building on that light blue colorway, this short sleeve blue knit from Goelia is another old money essential. The color and shape are quite feminine while still being modest and practical. Some other old money essentials include a Breton stripe top, a high neck blouse, and this cardigan with contrasting detail on the trim and pockets. 
Another essential is a classic shirt dress. This one from Goelia is great because it comes with the vest and belt which can be mixed and matched with the rest of the capsule to create even more outfits. Moving on to jackets, outerwear is one of the best areas in your wardrobe to start playing around with a new aesthetic. A new jacket or coat can be thrown over any classic outfit to easily punch up your own personal style. For the old money aesthetic, a cropped Chanel style jacket is perfect if it suits your body type. I love this all white version from Goelia, but they have tons of options in a variety of colors and with varying levels of visual interest. Another must have is a good classic blazer. This brown one is lovely and will add a little more variety to the color palette. And a trench coat is a given for any classic style wardrobe. Finally, let's choose our statement pieces and accessories. This is where I recommend thinking outside the box a little bit and choosing some items that don't fit squarely within the old money aesthetic. If your basics and essentials really nail that old money vibe, then you can afford to bring in a little more personality and uniqueness in your accessories and statement pieces. To round out our selection of tops, this statement blouse from Goelia is stunning. I do think this top fits well within the old money aesthetic and has a bit of a nautical vibe as well, but the cold shoulder detail and large metallic button provide a unique statement that still breaks out of the traditional mold. For bottoms, a pair of statement selvage denim is a great choice. Again, these are bringing in a little bit of a nautical vibe as well as a casual element with the denim and a little bit of drama with the front seam and wide cuff detail. For dresses, this faux leather dress from Goelia is a stunning layering piece. It may be a little out there for the old money aesthetic, but that's what statement pieces are for. Now let's choose shoes. Since the clothing in this capsule is very neutral and classic, I really wanted to have fun with the shoes and accessories. I chose a pair of cream loafers with a square toe and a pointed toe slingback, which are both a little bit off the beaten path while still being super versatile. Then I added these red ballet flats black suede cowboy boots, and fun heeled mules to add some personality to the capsule. Pairing an unexpected shoe is one of the easiest ways to make a classic outfit feel much more personal and styled. Every one of these shoe options will instantly add more visual interest to the otherwise neutral and classic capsule wardrobe. And for accessories, I added three bags. A red clutch bag to pair with the red ballet flats, a black classic satchel, and a brown crossbody bag. When choosing bags for the old money aesthetic, you want to look for structure and choose colors that will help you create color repetition within your outfits. And finally, an old money capsule is not complete without a pair of sunglasses and a silk scarf. The final capsule includes nine tops, four bottoms, two dresses, three jackets, five shoes, three bags, and two accessories for 28 items which can create at least 60 interchangeable outfits. this video and I hope it inspires you to create your own aesthetic within your capsule wardrobe. Don't forget to check out the description box for tons of resources and links to all of the items featured. And if you were intrigued by the discussion of body types, check out this playlist for tons more examples of capsule wardrobes for the body types. If you genuinely liked this video or found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more personal style and capsule wardrobe videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.